welcome to another video with Holly Berry. So in today's video, I thought I'd do something a bit makeup-y because it feels like I have not done a makeup video in so long. And um, just a few pointers. Um, my cat is here. Say hello, Phoebe. Oh, she was all cuddly and fluffy and what a doll. Um, and um, my family are actually watching a horror film in the other room. So if you hear any screams. I don't live in a haunted house. Yeah, and now I've got some cat food on my face. Beautiful. And I feel also think they're drilling next door, so <laughs> yeah. So as I said today, I am gonna be doing a makeup video. A kind of discussion um, about makeup and age and when you should be wearing makeup, what products to use, blah 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 blah. So personally, um, I think I was 13 when I first properly got into makeup. A big trend back then was to have electric super glue or turquoise just under your eyes and I was so obsessed with that look, I thought it was so cool. I used to wear far too much powder, I think I was about 16 when I first got into foundation and my face was a different colour every day. I couldn't see that there was a foundation shade available in my colour. One day I might have an orange face and the next I'd be really really pale. I have had a kind of up and down relationship with makeup. I love it. I feel that um, if you do love it, if you do want to experiment with it, then great. I like to think I'm a bit artsy. Um, and I see makeup as just another way of being creative and painting a great thing, a masterpiece, which just so happens to be your face. Vogue. <laughs> Never feel pressured to wear makeup. Wear it because you want to, not because all your friends are. I mean, I'm 22 and I have quite a few friends who don't wear makeup, even now. Um, and that's cool, like if you're happy with your natural beauty then embrace that. But makeup is something to play with and it's a toy and I love it. So I thought that I'd share some things that I think would be really good with young skin and some things that are quite easy to use if you're just starting out with makeup. The makeup bag that I am going to be showing you is something that I ha actually had for Christmas from my mum. It's a One Direction makeup bag. I know, I know I'm 22, but I am obsessed with them. Like I know some people love them and some people hate them, but I think this would be a really nice one if you are a One Direction fan. Um, and plus the material of this is really nice and plasticky, so it means that it won't get destroyed straight away as quick as some of the material cotton -y ones do. So the first thing I'm gonna start with are brushes. They are handy and they're a lot tidier than using your fingers. So the first one we'll start with is this powder brush for doing your T-zone. Um, this is actually from e.l.f. and it's just got a really nice big head on it. It's quite soft, it's a, bit, a little bit spiky but it does the job really well so if you're just introducing yourself into powder I'd go for something like this. Um, next thing is a foundation sponge brush. This one. But you can get these in any kind of drugstore supermarket that sells makeup anywhere. Um, they're just really simple, they've just got a nice sponge on the end um, and I just find them a lot easier than using the bristly brushes. It's really easy to blend and yeah, just super easy and the pointy bit means that you can get right in the corners and the nooks and crannies of your face and it's also really soft and I like it. The next brush I would recommend is this bad boy. Um, this is my all time favourite brush. It is from The Body Shop. It's so nice for applying eyeshadow. Um, it's got quite a thin kind of tip on it so it means that you can get the creases really nicely um, but it's also flat so doing the lid is perfect and dry. It's just it's a good all rounder. Um, and the last brush that I would recommend you trying if you're into brushes um, would be a blending brush. This is a so eco one and it's so soft and it just means that um, when doing like, your eyeshadow you can just blend it out and it doesn't look so much like Oh, I'm wearing eyeshadow. Bam! <laughs> um, and it just looks a bit more natural and you can make a nice smoky or smuddy effect, whatever you're into. So the next thing I'm going to discuss with you is foundation. Personally, um, I would not recommend foundation on young skin. It is good for covering up the bits of you that you don't like, but since from experience, it takes time to know what kind of shade you are and plus like, it can be a bit cakey and foundation sometimes can be a bit oily and cause spots um, and obviously in pubescent skin um, you might suffer from spots anyway so I would recommend a tinted moisturiser or a BB cream. If you do feel that you like 
like to try foundation. Um, I would go for my personal favourite. Um, I do actually use all these products, so um, I'm not lying to y'all. Um, this is the Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the shade 115. This is the perfect shade for me. Um, it's kind of a gel consistency, and I do actually really love it. And there are so many colours in the Fit Me range. I think that's why it's so good. You can just go to the Maybelline counter and just try all the different um, colours of foundation. Just swatch them on your wrist or just by there, and try and find one that's right for you. Um, because I think that is important because you don't want to look like you're wearing makeup. I mean, obviously you will if you wear a strong lip like I am or a smoky eye, um, but with kind of a base, you just want to look kind of natural and yeah, like I'm perfect all the time. I have no worries in my skin. I'm amazing. And on to blusher. I think blusher is so nice um, on young skin. It makes you look really rosy and really healthy and I think that's really lovely. So I have here the Blushing Heart Blusher from Makeup Revolution. I love Makeup Revolution. Oh, if you haven't tried it, it's amazing. It's so reasonable and the products are such good quality. Like seriously, you check this out and this is a really good deal because it's Too Faced. Unfortunately, mine has kind of crumbled, so I'll just hold it together a bit. But it's, it's like that, it's kind of three shades of pink and if you just rub them together with a blusher brush, um, then they create a really nice rosy pink. A bit shimmery so it's nice if you want to try highlighter without buying the highlighter I think it just gives that bit of shine. Like I said I used to cake my face with powder and looking back it just was not good like it caused me spots more spots than I needed it used to stick into my pores but I think used slightly with a little bit of a gentle hand I think powder can be really nice so I have the collection of powder this stuff is so reasonable it's perfect it does the job it's like under three pounds and um, I wouldn't recommend using powder if you've got dry skin but if you're a bit oily um, which I can be down my t-zone just do a little bit with a brush like this one and done. If you did want to try highlighter I'd go for something which is quite pinky and also a powder highlighter as opposed to a liquid because liquid can be quite hard um, if you're a beginner. But I've gone for the Makeup Revolution again. Um, their highlighter, their Vivid Baked Highlighter <laughs> in Peach Lights. It is a gorgeous kind of pinky colour and um, if you just apply that to your cheekbones it just gives you a nice shimmery look and yeah, it just makes you look really twinkly. Then concealer. Oh concealer. Um, I have been using concealer for so long. Um, it was one of those first products that I got into. Um, because I wanted something to hide my redness and also my spots that I occasionally got. My favourite at the moment is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. It is just a really nice, easy to apply um, concealer. Just put it under your eyes if you're looking particularly tired because I know I was knackered throughout school. Like those long days, oh, they used to kill me. So I just really like this and I think if you apply it under your eyes but also on some spots, be careful though when applying concealer to spots. Um, it's always best to dab some in your hand before um, putting it on and don't use the brush directly because if you think about it, if you wipe it on the spot then the germs and bacteria that are from the spot, which is totally disgusting, um, will remain on the concealer brush and you'll wipe it around your face. Um, and yeah, I just... Good little tip. Let's go on to my favourite product, which is the Glip product. I don't know why I said, said it like that. And obviously if you're just starting out in makeup, you're probably in school and um, I know that I wasn't allowed to wear makeup in school but I did used to sneak a little bit of mascara, concealer and lip balm. Shh. Any lag in school teachers watching this? I'm sorry. With regards to lips in school, I would recommend this from Chip... from Chipstack? <laughs> from Chapstick. It is the Hot Lips Kit and um, it comes in a little adorable tin which is so cute and very Kath Kidston-ish and inside you have three chapsticks. <laughs> this is like a proper goose. <laughs> it's all now but if you wanted to I think you could even take the lip balms out and use this to keep your sana hoot on thing. Suggestion. The next thing is a gloss which again 
then is my makeup revolution and it is this wow lip gloss in the shade wow so this is just a really nice nude kind of pinky color um, it's so easy to apply um, and it just comes with like a nice little spongy brush um, and first I really like the shape of this because you just fit in your school bag or your handbag really well and yeah I just I like it a lot and it just gives a nice little glossy sheen really easy to apply not too much I like it I think it was $1.99 as well so bargain stay on to the kind of lip glosses um, I really like this stuff from collection and um, it is the cream puff moisturizing lip cream when I first tried this I thought oh my god what's on my lips um, because it feels like nothing I've tried before it's a matte finish but it just gives you a really nice pinky look and yet this color is in cotton candy which is so cute and the collection is a really good brand if you are on a budget because their stuff is brilliant and I would recommend it highly then on to lipsticks personally I always kind of think of lipsticks as being more towards the older girl end of the spectrum slash lady slash old granny um, but if you do feel like you want to try a lipstick which is totally cool if you do um, I have a couple of shades which I think are really nice the first lipstick I got is from NYX and it is the colour Sparkling Nude from their Diamond Sparkle Lipstick Collection I really like this colour because it's a nude and it's all sparkly which is why it's probably called Sparkling Nude I think it's great if you want a heavy eye or say you're just having a really simple makeup day I do really like this and I would recommend it and then the last lipstick that I have is from e.l.f. Um, and it is in the shade Pouty Petal and it is just a really nice pink colour um, again it's that kind of nudey pink which I just think would be so nice I just think pink is just a lot fresher I think it's a pretty look really pretty and I personally love this colour I've worn it so much it's just adorable so pretty Pearl. we're on to eye products so we'll go on to palettes first and eyeshadows I, eyeshadow is completely optional if you're like me and how I was back in the day um, and you see an eyeshadow look that you think is really cool go for it you know um, but don't feel like you have to wear eyeshadow because you know it's only how you're feeling and it does take practice as well so don't stress if you don't get it right the first time um, I have chosen this palette it's the original one by Sleek and it's extremely well loved this palette and this palette just has a lot of different colours for you to play with and create different looks with it's just got a really nice mirror and it just came with a brush but that's kind of in my brush collection so yeah back in my day I keep on saying that I sound like a complete old woman back in my day um, I remember that every girl wanted an Argos cosmetic bag or case or whatever it was it was basically very cheap um, eyeshadows and lip products but in a massive case and just had loads and loads of colours in and I remember everybody wanted those <laughs> everybody wanted them um, and I certainly did and one time I did actually get one um, and it was rubbish the pigment was so bad none of the colours suited me and yeah it was terrible but I still think that idea is so brilliant if you're just starting out with using makeup um, so I have a pretty up to date and better quality one right here it is the e.l.f. 96 piece ah, 96 piece eyeshadow palette and it is so lovely there are some colours that I would not use like a bright green, bright yellow, bright orange but a lot of the colours are so wearable there's some nudes and some purple and navies so you can create the perfect smoky eye or just really natural looks and just go for it, just experiment makeup is all about playing <laughs> I still think I still stink, what am I saying? Um, I always stick to that mantra that makeup is something to play with, it's an experiment. So I think to be like this is great if you're just starting out wearing makeup because it means that you can play with loads of different colours and find out the colour that suits you the most. Then we're on to eyeliner. I'm a fan of liquid eyeliner. Um, I do have some coal eyeliner, I, but I just like liquid. But saying that, liquid is pretty tricky. You have to have the right steady hand and apply it quite slowly. It does take practice and trust me, 
I've been wearing this for about six years, I still get it wrong sometimes, um, and I end up with a big splodgy pandering mess. That might happen, so don't worry if you do get anything wrong with makeup, just keep on trying until you achieve a perfect look for you. Um, and I have just chosen to show you the collection Fast Strike Eyeliner because it's the one that I've been wearing all these years and um, it's super easy and it's $1.99. Yeah, even if you don't get along with it then it's kind of disposable at $1.99. Great! Um, and then the final thing I'm going to show you is the mascara. Um, I have decided to show you the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express Mascara. I know a lot of beauty bloggers have gone on about this mascara and it's for a very good reason. Um, the brush on this is amazing, it's plastic and quite thick but they've got lots of different bristles of all different sizes so you can apply the smaller bristles to your inners and bigger ones to your outer and it's just, it's amazing, it works so well. I think mascara is something that most girls need, I think for me it's an essential because who doesn't want those fluttery um, eyelashes? So guys, I hope you enjoyed this makeup video and um, it was really fun to make although I did have some troubles because of the drilling next door and the horror film in the background so sorry if that comes up on camera, <laughs> there's nothing I could do about that. Um, but now I really hope you enjoyed and I will see you soon. Bye guys!